Well, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Back Lakes Bushcraft and Outdoors. I'm your host, Shem, and uh, today it's going to be a quick little video. It's going to be a, uh, a DIY project that you all can do at home anytime. Uh, try to be prepared before you go out in the field. That's why we call it a DIY. And uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make some waterproof matches. I got this idea from actually my next door neighbor. His name is uh, Joey Levine. And he's into bushcrafting too. And we were talking one day and he said, Hey, why don't you do a video on waterproofing matches? I said, okay. So today is the day we're going to do... The waterproofing of matches so thank you Joey for uh, turning me on to this and uh, we'll see how it does Let's grab a cup of coffee sit back and we will uh, make some waterproof matches okay uh, first of all before we do all that let me first tell you there's probably five or six different ways that you can do this. Um, I picked out the easiest, I think, in my opinion. I mean, I've tried all of them, all the ones that I know of anyway. And uh, I think this one's the easiest uh, to do and complete and uh, have a good time with. Now, I don't care who you are, I don't care where you're from, what you do. If you hang out with women, you definitely have this product in your house somewhere. And if not, she's marking her territory, and I guarantee it's going to be in there eventually soon. Just hang tight on that one. But anyway, these products are in your house. Now, you can waterproof matches with uh, beeswax. I've seen it done with shellacs. I've seen it done with uh, harder chemicals. Um, I've seen it, you know, the method I'm getting ready to show you is, uh, you know, like I said, there's like four or five different ways to do this. And I've tried them all, like I said, but uh, I think this one's the easiest and quickest. And uh, let's get started. Let me adjust the camera, and then we'll get started. So grab a cup of coffee, uh, sit back, relax, and uh, let's make some waterproof matches. Okay, first thing you need is fingernail polish. Doesn't matter what color. Uh, I try to go with the fluorescent colors. And this fingernail polish here is actually my dog's fingernail polish. And yes, I paint her nails because she feels like she's pretty and she is pretty and she likes her nails painted. She's definitely a girl. <laughs> uh, gonna need some matches. Wooden stick, preferably. A uh, set of needle noses. I have a cup of water here just to show you. Uh, this isn't necessary in the making part, but it's just, I'm gonna use it for a demonstration. And wax paper. And it's what we do here is pull out some matches. Like so, pick out a cool color. I like to mix them up, but I like them fluorescent. Uh, I'm just shaking this up. Uh, I like fluorescent in case it drops. It can, uh, you can find them on the ground. And uh, I use usually unique uh, fluorescent colors and everything when I do these. So what we do is we open this up here and we set that there so we don't make a mess, but I am messy, so please forgive me. 
All right, so we take the needle noses and take it just like that. And here's the magic part. Just dip them in like that. And then you set them on your wax paper, let them dry. Like so. And usually when I do this, I blow out like a whole bunch of them, but since it's just a demonstration, I'm just going to do a couple of them and everything. And I try to get the uh, fingernail polish down as far as I can on the stick. Sometimes I'll flip them around. Once these dry, I'll flip them around and, and do more so they're basically all covered and everything. Uh, like I said, this is probably the easiest way to do it, and I'm sorry for the uh, phone wiggle, <laughs> or the camera, I mean, uh, which is my phone, actually, because uh, my camera is actually charging up. So I figured I'd shoot this on my uh, camera. And there you have it right there and like I said that's the easiest way to do it so we'll let them dry I'm not a connoisseur on fingernail polish and on how long it takes to dry I I've watched women dry their nails and I've seen it take a long time to take in no time uh, Anyway, that's it on that. So, what I'll do here is we got some water and we can test them out. Okay. So, I'll pull out one match of not treated. See it right there. Okay. And we'll dump it in the water. And... For the miracle time of the camera, we have some already made. So I will take this and throw that in the water. So now we have two matches submerged in water, if you can see. All right. And that should be ample enough time to, uh, that's damn good coffee. And that should be ample enough time to be soaked, wet, whatever the situation may be. We'll pull them out. And I do got two strikers on here. Okay, so this is the wet match. And I'm pretty sure... Oh, well, that did light. Hmm, made a liar out of me. Okay. So, this is the treated one. And I'll flip it on the other side so it's not wet. Oh. And this is the other one that's coated. And we'll try that. I broke it, broke it. Good lordy. Good thing I have another one. And there you go. And they were both treated wet. So there you have it. There's your quick DIY 
to uh, waterproof the matches. And then when they're all dry, you put them in a uh, uh, plastic container, put them away, throw them in your sack, do whatever you got to do, but keep them safe and uh, dry and enjoy yourself when you build your next fire. And let me flip the camera around. All right, so that's basically it. Easy DIY project. Hope it works out for everybody. Works out for me. Uh, if you like what you saw, uh, leave a comment below. I love reading your all's comments. Uh, I answer all of them to the best of my ability. Uh, please hit the like and share and subscribe. And uh, hope you all have a good day. Stay safe. Have fun and stay bushcrafting. Back Lakes Outdoors. Enjoy yourselves. Have a great day.